Are you going to try and get up, buddy? In Australia, avocado has been quite expensive lately, huh? What are you doing? Welcome back to Oddly in Love. Today we are doing Jacob's baby led weaning update. Sorry for the setup, background, etc. It's just that this is where Jacob normally eats, so I'm not going to change that for the video. I was filming Jacob's 12 month update and I thought it'd be good to update you guys on his baby led weaning and his eating in a separate video. I just thought it might be good to see how he's developing. Um, if you're starting out baby led weaning, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. Jacob is such an amazing eater right now, aren't you? For those of you who don't know, Jacob eats a mostly vegan diet. That's not to say he doesn't eat dairy and he doesn't eat meat. Um, we've come to a negotiation. Jordan eats a little bit of meat every so often. You okay? And so Jacob eats a tiny bit of meat, probably like once, uh, once or twice a month. So, and we don't eat dairy or meat inside the house. As you can see, Jacob is eating some veggie sausages, zucchini with avocado on top, apples, and a bit of vegan cheese. So Jacob's been officially eating for seven months, um, and he's doing very well. He's really 13 months, but it's his one year update on baby led weaning. He loves to eat. But just before this video, I'll show you a clip. He was just like standing right here crying, trying to get to the food. So as well as eating, Jacob has three bottles of almond milk a day. And he also has a oral liquid multivitamin. It's called Pentavite. I haven't actually checked if this is vegan, but it is really good to just ensure Jacob is having all the nutrients that he can. What's wrong? You want water? Jacob is drinking through a straw. Um, he has been for quite a while now. He never ever got the concept of a sippy cup, so we went straight to a straw. And we did that little trick where you suck the water up through the straw and then you put your finger over the top. And then I put it straight into his mouth and he just learnt to suck on it, which is good. <coughs> he has eight teeth now, so he can chew through most foods. He's eating apples at the moment and he loves them. Some of his favorite foods, number one is pasta. Pasta is his ultimate favorite food. We try not to give it to him too much. Um, because he just loves it and he doesn't eat anything else when he sees pasta. Some other foods that he enjoys, loves watermelon, I think because it's so juicy. He loves dates. Um, I make regular smoothies for myself, so Jacob shares them with me and he loves those too. So Jacob has started to have preferences, as you can tell, with food. Um, he straight away ate veggie sausages and the cheese and he has left the veggies and the apples to last. He does this um, regularly, <laughs> like he has a preference and sometimes he won't eat the vegetables. So what I try to do, not for this video, but what I try to do normally is I just give him the veggies first and hide the other foods until, hey, that's something else he's been doing, chucking his food on the floor and then looking for it to come back. As I said, he like chooses food, so I try to give him veggies first and then give him like the veggie sausages or the pasta or whatever. So he tends to eat his veggies first and then he eats the, the other option. We found that if we offered him pasta first, nothing else would get eaten. So um, yeah, so that's what we're doing at the moment. What are you doing? Are you gonna eat? 
Jacob does eat from preloaded spoons, um, so if I preload the spoon, he will um, put it to his mouth and eat it successfully. Hey! Other than that, Jacob doesn't know how to get a spoon and scoop it up and eat it. He will just put his hands straight into whatever it is. So I'm just going to leave that for a little bit and maybe revisit it in a couple months time because he is eating very well with his fingers. So why change it? The other struggle and challenge that we've been having lately is standing up out of his seat. He is trying so hard to get out of his seat during meals. So. Jacob, ever since he started walking, has wanted just to continue walking. He doesn't want to sit down, he doesn't want to do anything but walk. So we've been trying to only feed him while he's sitting down in his high chair, although he tries to stand up often, um, he tries to jump out of the seat, and yes, I know there are straps that you can get, um, we just don't know where we've put our straps, so we're going to have to find some because he's just it's just becoming a real problem. There are some times where he will just stand in the high chair and eat his food, and I mean, pick your battles really. I've let him do that a couple times, obviously I'm right next to him ready to catch him if he falls but obviously I shouldn't really encourage that but other than that he is an amazing eater he eats pretty much everything I try to give him a lot of avocado and I know you're gonna try and get up buddy in Australia avocado has been quite expensive lately huh what are you doing we're not supposed to be standing Look, try this one. So yeah, we've been struggling with trying to get him out to sit down in his chair. Other than that, he's a really good eater. Say cheese! <laughs> what are you doing? As you can tell, we have other struggles when it comes to feeding times. And it's not just him being fussy, it's him wanting to be clingy with me or standing up, walking around. <laughs> He doesn't like sitting for too long. So he's just taken a piece of apple and walked away. So I just wanted to let you guys know, we have struggles too with Jacob. He isn't the perfect eater. He still is a pretty good eater. He just isn't perfect, which no baby is perfect. And I think on my channel, I've shown the good times that he's been eating and which is a majority of the time. Sometimes it can be a real challenge, like with him trying to get out of the seat, with him wanting to walk around and eat, which he's doing right now. He sat himself on the couch to watch TV. <coughs> so just quickly, I'd love for you to comment down below and tell me your experiences with your child and eating, whether it be baby led weaning or traditional <coughs> Jake. Comment down below your experiences with your children and how they've been eating, um, whether it be good or bad, the challenges, the, the highlights, whether it be baby led weaning or traditional weaning or anything. Just let me know. I'd love to hear your stories and see what has worked for you and what hasn't worked for you. And if you have any tips or tricks on how to keep your baby to sit in their high chair to finish their meal. That would be great. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this mini update for his baby led weaning journey. Be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to join our Otter family. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye.